Moving to a new city can be intimidating, particularly when you need to find a job. It takes more than just looking through job postings and applying online. Finding the best gigs requires reaching out to contacts in your field, researching and networking way beforehand. But not to worry, in this video, we'll get you started by covering the largest employment sectors in Ottawa. But before we get into it, show reel, hit it. Peter Tilling here with Living in Ottawa. And if this is your first time to the channel and you want to learn everything about what it's like to work, sleep, play, and live in Ottawa, well, make sure to tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified each and every time we do a brand new video. We honestly get so many people reaching out to us who are looking to relocate to Ottawa and they're curious about selling where they are and buying in Ottawa, and we absolutely love helping them on their journey. So if you're thinking about making a move and you have questions about the market, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email because we got your back. We're moving to Ottawa. Ottawa is known as the nation's capital, but what many people don't know is how it's also a major employment center. The city houses four main sectors that provide job opportunities to thousands of Canadians. The public service, high tech companies, healthcare, and the educational services industry. And each of these has its own unique flavor. Whether you want to work with groundbreaking technology to, or build your career in the public service, Ottawa can provide something for everyone. And the truth is, you don't have to be a politician to make a living here in Ottawa. There are exciting and lucrative career paths available no matter what your interests may be. As a precaution, in order to prepare the information for this video, not all the information was readily available or completely clear. For example, the federal government and the high tech industry tend to overlap and we also see the same in the education and healthcare sectors. I've pulled more prominent examples in each of these sectors to provide an idea of each. And salary information is also very difficult to find for private companies. Much of it comes from dubious sources. So we wanna to lightly touch on these and add some perks about these companies, particularly well-known tech companies to give you an idea, but please understand it's not the same across the board. For most public sector employers, I've used the Sunshine List stats, which actually reports salaries of over $100,000 Canadian. And anything below this is not public information, but yet again, the information is inconsistent from different public and private industries. So I'll share what I can, but please go easy on me in the comments area if your opinion differs. Without further ado, let's dive into the Ottawa's top four employment sectors. As a nation's capital, it's, it's no surprise that the largest employer in Ottawa is the federal government. With over 120,000 people in the nation's capital region working for Public Services Canada in 2020. And these positions support the functioning of the government at every level. The average salary of an employee of the Government of Canada is about $79,000 per year, and qualifications of salaries vary greatly depending on the position and its requirements. In fact, in 2016, 19% of Ottawa's workforce was employed by public administration. An administrative assistant may expect to actually make around $50,000 Canadian, while an attorney might make around $120,000 Canadian. Employees in the federal government services, Public Services Canada, include a large number of information technology positions, business consultants, financial analysts, analysts, supply chain project leads, and project managers all making over $100,000 Canadian. And though the government jobs have a more rigid salary structure than private sector jobs, factors like experience and education are still major considerations. And government jobs are highly desirable in Ottawa for a number of reasons. Benefits packages and salaries tend to be relatively generous and the jobs are more somewhat recession-proof than those in the private sector. And federal government departments recognized as national capital region top employers include the Canada Revenue Agency, the Department of Finance Canada, and the Communication Security Establishment, the CSE, and the National Capital Commission. 
The federal government also contributes to an enormous number of jobs outside the public administration. Government funding for support, research, and more in many areas of Ottawa's employment sectors, but certainly it overlaps into the three other main Ottawa employment sectors of high tech, healthcare, and education. Ottawa's employment sectors all overlap to a significant degree, and there are tech jobs in healthcare, government, and funded research positions in education, and healthcare jobs even within the federal government. It's difficult to completely separate the sectors. And the best way to think about Ottawa's job market is that it's a vast and interconnected matrix. And both public and private employers seek highly qualified employees of all kinds. And provincial government also accounts for a good size of the employment pie here in Ottawa. And at the municipal level, the City of Ottawa is also a major employer with almost 20,000 full-time and part-time employees. Working for the City comes in many forms. Positions from parking control officer to accounting coordinator could earn around $100,000 Canadian. And high-level managerial positions in the City may earn well over $200,000 Canadian. Hey, if this video is bringing you any value and helping you in any way, please help us by clicking that like button to let the YouTube algorithm know that we're doing a good job. There are hundreds of tech companies in the Ottawa area, employing thousands of people. And these range from small one to two person shops, all the way to well over a thousand employee organizations. And quite a bit of the tech industry is connected to the federal government in some way or form. Life Sciences Tech, which employs about 6,000 people, is funded to the tune of 380 million in the year and the university affiliated research institutions. And the Ottawa Hospital, Ottawa Heart Institute, and the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario, CHEO, are all major employers in both the tech and health sectors. Other government supported tech includes everything from telecommunications, the Communications Research Centre, to clean energy, Environment and Climate Change Canada, and there are 65 government research labs in Ottawa. Non-government tech companies also have a large presence in the Ottawa Gatineau area. From software giant Shopify to Nokia, IBM, Adobe Systems, and a host of startup companies, estimated over 74,000 people work in Ottawa's tech sector. There's a strong and connected autonomous vehicle CAV presence within the 20,000 employees, and the largest tech company in Canada, Canada North Technology Park, is home to over 500 companies employing over 20,000 people. And according to CBRE Tech Talent 2021, tech industry jobs account for 11.6% of the city's employment, making it the highest concentration of any city in North America. Salary expectations within the tech industry vary widely, but the concentration of the high-level R&D, research and development, in Ottawa means that opportunities for highly trained software engineers, developers, and niche-specific researchers. Many tech companies make an appearance on the top 100 employees list for 2022. And we'll leave a link in the description below for you to check that out. Shopify is the largest public company in Canada, employing nearly 6,000 people across the country. And the company offers a generous health plan, mental health coverage, coverage, tuition subsidies, training, and flexible work schedules. Adobe Systems Canada employs over 300 Ottawans, and it offers generous paid off time, tuition subsidies, and very flexible hybrid work schedules. And smaller employers like Tahama Incorporated, a software company, make their mark with benefits like flexible time off and a share purchase plan. It's no surprise that Ottawa is a hotbed for tech companies from database development to app creation, and these are the powerhouses that make Ottawa a global leader and the technology advancement. Hence the name that was given to Canada as Silicon Valley North. As seemingly new and strange startups keep popping up, one thing remains constant. Ottawa's tech industry continues to lead the pack with its unique blend of creativity, innovation, talent, and drive. As well as a supporting and robust life sciences tech industry, Ottawa's three major hospitals and their satellite clinics employ thousands of healthcare workers. And the Ottawa Hospital employs over 6,500 Ottawans in full-time positions. An additional 5,000 people work for the institution in part-time positions. And the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario, CHEO, employs over 2,000 individuals in full-time positions as well as 1,000 in part-time positions. Occupational therapists for CHEO can expect to make $39 an hour in 2022. And positions earning about $100,000 Canadian a year include clinic managers, pharmacists, registered nurses, and staff physicians make close to $200,000 Canadian a year or more. And salaries vary widely based on experience, 
training, and position of responsibility. Managers, social workers, and service technologists can all make over $100,000 Canadian a year. And high-level executive positions may earn upwards of $300,000 a year. At the University of Heart Institute, you'll find over 1,500 employers, doctors, nurses, professionals, administrative assistants, researchers, and more fill up the ranks of this prestigious institution. The Heart Institute is Canada's largest cardiac care and research facility. Salaries are generally similar to those at CHEO. And employees from systems analysts to sonographers make over $100,000 Canadian. And Ottawa is home to seven general care hospitals and five specialty care hospitals. In 2016, 22% of Ottawa's workforce was employed in health and education sectors. And Ottawa is a city that loves to work hard and play hard. Its thriving life and science and technology industry built around three major hospitals and their extended network of satellite clinics. And not only do these institutions provide amazing care to the public, they also employ thousands of dedicated healthcare professionals, giving Ottawa's working population an extra wellness boost. And they're like the multivitamins and green juice of Ottawa's job market, needed for sustaining long-term flavor and health. And as one satisfied patient put it, Ottawa knows how to take care of itself. Ottawa citizens are well educated for a reason. The National Capital Region is home to two public colleges and two public universities. You'll also find specialty schools including the Canadian Police Academy and a branch of the storied Le Cordon Bleu Cooking School. And community colleges including Willis College specializing in skills training in business, healthcare and technology. Colleges and universities along with the area's myriad of public primary and secondary schools employ teachers, teaching assistants, professors, research, and many more. And the University of Ottawa is a major bilingual research center with over 35,000 undergraduate students. And the largest of Ottawa's higher learning centers, the university employs over 5,000 full-time and 6,000 part-time workers. And it has a graduate rate of 97%, sending thousands of talented employees into the workforce every year. And due to its 40 research facilities, the University of Ottawa draws extensive outside funding, much of it from the federal government. And in 2017, faculty members received an average almost of 250,000 Canadian for sponsored research income. Full professors often make over 200,000 Canadian at the University of Ottawa, with assistant professors making close to $150,000 Canadian. Carleton University is also a major research center. This English language institution offers 65 degree programs to its 27,000 undergraduates. Faculty members generally make up between 100,000 to 200,000 Canadian per year. And Carleton has more part-time employees, around 4,500, than their full-time employees, around 2,500. Algonquin College of Applied Arts and Technologies primary campus is actually in Ottawa. Another top research institution, it has a reputation for innovation. And it's 19,000 students choose from 180 programs, including public safety, nursing, and interior design. An impressive 93% of graduates go on to work in their field of study. And faculty seems to make slightly less than their counterparts at the University of Ottawa and Carleton University, with salaries often around $100,000 Canadian. And Algonquin has over 1,300 full-time and about 2,100 part-time employees. Established in 1990, Collège La Cité is the largest French language college in the province with around 5,000 full-time students and offers 90 degree programs. And over 500 people work full-time at the College La Cité with another 650 part-time employees. Its professors earn about the same as those at Algonquin College, slightly around the $100,000 Canadian mark. Colleges, universities and other schools in Ottawa also employ countless support staff from teaching assistants to counselors and even administrative staff. These institutions offer employment to thousands of Ottawans, and the four public colleges and universities are all recognized as top employers in 2022, and they employ over 22,000 people. It's clear to see why many people have chosen to plant their flag in this beautiful city. It provides an ideal environment for learning. Although Ottawa often gets overshadowed by big cities like Toronto and Montreal, its education sector is so established and powerful that it's a major employer in itself. Luckily for citizens, Ottawa is regularly ranked among Canada's best places to live, which means that good education comes with all the amenities of a good home base.
And Ottawa has a very educated workforce and the city is filled with educational institutions. Unemployment is low and the economy is stable and with higher average salaries than most Canadian cities. Despite the outsized presence of the federal sector, living in Ottawa is known for its outstanding work-life balance. And the average salary in the city is $128,000 in 2022. Making connections to the people in the city's industry and hubs is an important tool for when you're trying to land a job, as well as researching companies and researching potential employers before any interviews. Looking for local mentorship programs or joining a mixer or a meetup group are also effective ways of building your network so that you can position yourself better when searching for employment. And no matter how difficult it may seem, being proactive and jumping right in will give you the best chance of securing meaningful work once you've relocated or even before you make the big move. Speaking about relocating, if you're thinking about making a move to Ottawa, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even wrap it up in a bow and send it first class because we got your back. We're moving to Ottawa or anywhere across Canada. And each and every week, we're bringing brand new videos just like this one. So make sure to tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified each and every time we do a brand new video. Until next time, take care.